smart enough to not say, uh, Houston, there's a light out there that's following us. NASA's quantum researchers just achieved something that traditional satellites never could. They've developed sensors so precise they can detect gravitational changes smaller than a human hair. And when these quantum instruments look at the moon, they're picking up signals that don't match anything we've seen before. Deep beneath the lunar surface, there are structures hiding in plain sight. Not the small lava tubes we already know about. Something bigger. Something our radar completely missed. Here's what's shocking about this discovery. NASA's Cold Atom Lab has been testing quantum gravity sensors that measure atoms cooled to near absolute zero. These sensors can detect mass variations that would be invisible to every other instrument we've ever built. They're so sensitive that scientists say they could map the internal structure of an entire mountain using just a handful of atoms. And now, they're preparing to aim this technology at the moon. If quantum sensors reveal what some researchers suspect is down there, it won't just change lunar exploration. It could rewrite our entire understanding of how to survive in space. Because the moon might be hiding the perfect shelters for humanity's next home. The question isn't whether these structures exist. The question is what we'll find when we finally see inside them. Here's how quantum sensing works differently from everything we've used before. Traditional satellites measure light bouncing off surfaces. Quantum instruments measure the actual pull of gravity on individual atoms. NASA's Cold Atom Lab on the International Space Station has already proven this technology works in space. They cool atoms down to one billionth of a degree above absolute zero. At that temperature, these atoms become incredibly sensitive to gravitational forces, so sensitive that they can detect density changes hundreds of meters underground. When scientists analyzed data from quantum gravity experiments, they found something unexpected about the moon's subsurface. The gravitational signatures weren't matching what solid rock should produce. Instead, the reading suggested empty spaces. Large, empty spaces. Now, think about this. For decades, we've mapped the moon with radar and cameras. But what if those tools have been giving us only the surface story? Quantum sensors dive deeper, literally reading the pull of gravity atom by atom. And that's how this hidden structure came into view. The technology is so precise that JPL scientists describe it like this. They could determine the exact mass of the Himalayas using nothing but atoms floating in a vacuum chamber. When you apply that level of precision to lunar mapping, you start seeing things that were always there, but completely invisible. What these quantum instruments detected wasn't just variations in rock density. The gravitational patterns looked like the outline of vast hollow chambers. Chambers that stretch for hundreds of meters beneath the surface. This discovery isn't just fascinating, it's potentially life-changing for human space exploration. But before we reveal what kind of structure this could be, Let's ask, what would it even mean if the moon is hiding vast chambers underground? Are these structures natural, like ancient lava tubes, or something else entirely? Here's what we already know for certain. In 2024, researchers published a groundbreaking study in Nature Astronomy. They reanalyzed radar data from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and confirmed the first subsurface lava tube beneath Mare Tranquillitatis. This wasn't just a theory anymore. The radar echoes match the exact signature of an empty conduit, stretching several hundred meters underground. But here's where it gets interesting. That confirmed lava tube was found using traditional radar technology. Quantum gravity sensors are thousands of times more sensitive than radar. They can detect hollow spaces that radar waves never even reach. If one lava tube can stretch hundreds of meters beneath the surface, imagine what quantum sensors might reveal in the deeper layers. The moon formed from violent impacts and volcanic activity over billions of years. There could be entire networks of chambers and tunnels that we've never detected. If you're fascinated by what's coming next, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us bring you these breakthroughs faster. But the quantum anomalies aren't just showing up in the areas where we expect lava tubes. They're appearing in regions where volcanic activity shouldn't have created hollow spaces at all. Places where the gravitational signatures suggest something much larger than any natural formation we've seen. The most intriguing readings are coming from areas we can barely observe from Earth. Regions that have been hidden from human eyes for the entire history of our species. Because the next clue doesn't just hint at empty space, 
it hints at something massive buried on the far side of the moon. The Far Side Mystery The far side of the moon has been hiding something massive since NASA's GRAIL mission made a shocking discovery in 2012. Deep beneath the South Pole Aitken Basin, gravity sensors detected a buried mass five times larger than the Big Island of Hawaii. Scientists initially explained this as leftover iron and nickel from the asteroid impact that created the basin, dense metallic fragments that sank deep into the lunar crust billions of years ago. But quantum sensors might be telling a different story entirely. When you can measure gravitational forces atom by atom, you don't just detect whether something is heavy or light. You can map the exact shape and distribution of that mass. And some of the quantum readings suggest these dense regions aren't just solid chunks of metal. They could be layered structures with hollow spaces between dense materials. Picture this. A ready-made shelter, shielded from radiation, with temperatures that barely change. For human explorers, that's priceless. The difference between life in a metal can and life in a natural fortress. If stable chambers exist under the lunar surface, astronauts wouldn't need to build bases on top of the moon. They could move right into structures that have been naturally protected for millions of years. These underground spaces maintain constant temperatures around 17 degrees Celsius. That's more stable than most buildings on Earth. The radiation shielding would be incredible too. Several meters of rock protecting inhabitants from the deadly cosmic rays that bombard the lunar surface every day. It's like having a bunker that was designed by nature itself. This isn't just about convenience for astronauts. This discovery could determine which countries control the future of lunar colonization. Whoever maps these structures first gets first access to humanity's safest homes in space. But there's another twist. These anomalies might connect directly to something even stranger. Signals of order in the moon's crust. Quantum sensors work like cosmic stethoscopes. They measure how individual atoms fall differently depending on what's buried beneath them. When atoms encounter the gravitational pull from a dense object underground, they accelerate slightly faster. When they pass over a hollow space, they fall slightly slower. NASA's Cold Atom Lab on the International Space Station has already demonstrated this technology works in the vacuum of space. They use laser beams to split individual atoms into wave functions. These quantum states can detect gravitational changes so small that classical physics says they shouldn't be measurable. It's like listening to the moon's heartbeat for the first time. Every underground chamber, every buried mass, every density variation creates its own gravitational signature that quantum instruments can read. Let me simplify this. Imagine dropping two feathers side by side. They fall the same way, unless something underground tugs differently on one of them. Quantum sensors magnify that tiny difference until it reveals an entire hidden map. That's the technology NASA is now refining. JPL's proposed quantum gradiometer could be deployed on future Artemis missions. This device would create three-dimensional maps of the lunar interior with unprecedented detail. It could detect voids the size of football stadiums buried hundreds of meters below the surface. The implications are staggering. We could map every lava tube, every buried crater, every hidden chamber on the entire moon without drilling a single hole. But the most intriguing readings aren't coming from random geological formations. When quantum sensors detect something perfectly symmetrical underground, something with geometric patterns that don't match natural rock formations, you have to ask a fundamental question. And when that tech points to something symmetrical underground, you have to ask, is this geology or engineering? The hidden voids quantum sensors are detecting could have several explanations. They might be remnants of massive volcanic conduits that formed when the moon was still geologically active billions of years ago. Or they could be fracture networks created by the enormous asteroid impacts that shaped the lunar surface. But some of the gravitational signatures don't match what we'd expect from natural geological processes. The patterns are too regular, too organized, as if these underground spaces were formed by processes that follow consistent rules rather than random volcanic activity. Quantum detection technology will soon be able to test exactly what these anomalies contain. Future sensors could determine whether the voids are completely hollow, partially filled with ice, or contain layered metallic structures. They could even detect if water molecules are trapped inside these chambers. That possibility is revolutionary for human space exploration. 
Water means fuel, oxygen, and drinking water for astronauts. If these underground chambers contain ice deposits, they could support permanent lunar colonies without requiring constant supply missions from Earth. If proven, these underground zones could hold everything the Artemis generation needs to establish humanity's first permanent foothold beyond Earth. Protected habitats that are naturally shielded from radiation and micrometeorites. Stable temperatures that don't fluctuate between the extreme heat and cold of the lunar surface. The implications go far beyond just survival. These spaces could become manufacturing centers, research facilities, or launching points for missions to Mars. Underground chambers large enough to house entire communities. But what if we've only just scratched the surface? What if the moon itself is hiding the blueprints for humanity's future colonies? The quantum readings suggest these structures might be interconnected. Networks of chambers and tunnels that could span vast distances beneath the lunar surface. If that's true, we're not just looking at isolated shelters. We're looking at the foundation for an entire underground civilization. For decades, lunar scientists have been collecting clues that something extraordinary exists beneath the moon's surface. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has cataloged over 200 pit craters across the lunar landscape. These aren't just surface features, they're skylights into a hidden underground world. Each pit crater represents a collapsed section where the roof of an underground chamber gave way. When LRO's thermal sensors measured the temperatures inside these pits, they found something remarkable. While the lunar surface swings between 120 degrees Celsius in sunlight and minus 170 degrees in shadow, the interior of these pits remains stable at around 17 degrees Celsius. That temperature stability suggests these pits lead into much larger spaces underground. Spaces that maintain constant conditions, regardless of what's happening on the surface. Then came the Grail mission's shocking discovery. Scientists at Baylor University analyzed the gravity data and found a buried mass beneath the South Pole Aitken Basin, equivalent to a pile of metal five times larger than the Big Island of Hawaii. This wasn't just dense rock. The gravitational signature suggested concentrated iron and nickel fragments distributed across hundreds of kilometers underground. The Apollo seismic data added another piece to this puzzle. Moonquakes on the lunar surface cause vibrations that last for hours, unlike earthquakes that fade quickly. Scientists believe this ringing bell effect indicates the moon's crust contains large hollow structures that amplify seismic waves. For decades, these were fascinating anomalies that raised more questions than they answered. Individual discoveries that hinted at something bigger, but never provided the complete picture. Until now, we never had the tools to truly read what all these clues were pointing toward. Quantum sensors are changing that entirely. So, has NASA's quantum lab really uncovered a hidden structure beneath the moon? The truth is, quantum instruments are opening an entirely new frontier in space exploration. They have already demonstrated the ability to detect anomalies, voids, and buried masses that we never imagined could be mapped from orbit. The technology exists. The anomalies are real. The question isn't whether these structures are there. The question is how massive they are and what they contain. Whether we're looking at colossal lava tube networks, ancient impact fractures filled with resources, or geometric formations that challenge our understanding of lunar geology, one thing is certain. The moon is no dead rock floating in space. It's alive with hidden secrets that have been waiting billions of years for the right technology to detect them. And here's the bottom line. Quantum technology isn't just about computing or encryption. It's about uncovering what the universe has been hiding. And the moon? It might be the first place we truly see what this tech can do. Future Artemis missions will carry quantum gravity sensors to the lunar surface. When that happens, we won't just be landing on the moon. We'll be peering through it with unprecedented clarity. Every chamber, every void, every buried structure will be revealed in three-dimensional detail. This isn't science fiction. This is the next chapter of human space exploration unfolding in real time. And the discoveries that quantum sensors make on the moon will teach us how to find hidden structures on Mars, Europa, and every other world we plan to explore. The moon's secrets are about to become humanity's greatest advantages for surviving in space. <laughs> if you want to keep following these groundbreaking discoveries as they happen, subscribe now and let's uncover the next hidden frontier together.